Hello friends, Chris here, Food FAQs, thanks for joining me in the kitchen. As always, click on subscribe above to get all the latest FAQ videos sent directly to you as soon as they get published. In today's video, we're going to talk a little bit about handling and working with hot peppers, especially scotch bonnet and habanero peppers. I was down at the West Indian supermarket over the weekend and I picked these beauties up. Look at the size of these, they're so nice. But I thought, you know, um, I've never done this before with you guys. As well as there was a comment left in one of the videos I posted a while back on the Caribbean Pot um, video channel in regards to pepper and how to use them. A, a user was asking about it. When working with scotch bonnet peppers as these, habanero peppers, jalapeno, any sort of hot pepper, the, there are three levels of heat you can work with here and I'm going to discuss that with you guys but before we do that what I want to stress when handling these peppers they're very deadly um, even the oils on the outside can sometimes irritate your skin once the oils from the inside once you cut them open get onto your skin it's like pure fire so what I would recommend doing is wear gloves if you're not familiar with using these I've used these for years and years now so uh, they don't bother me as much, but I'm going to show you the three different layers of heat um, with these peppers, these scotch bonnet or habanero peppers, and I'm just going to grab one of these nice juicy looking red ones here. If you're cooking, so let's say you're cooking some sort of uh, rice and peas, kalaloo, red beans or something, you really want to spice it up, but you, you want that flavor but not the heat. What you would do, you would take the entire pepper and you would put it into the pot. Now try your best when you're stirring and everything else to not burst it open. Don't break it open. At the end, all you do, you grab a spoon, spoon it out of the pot, and you have all that flavor from the pepper with no heat whatsoever. Now if you want the flavor as well as uh, controllable heat, what you would do then is cut it open and here I'm gonna have to explain this to you guys maybe this is a better shot here the outer sort of skin here is where most well a lot of the heat is but the majority of heat is within this area here where those seeds are this sort of white membrane that surrounds the seed so if you want some of the heat not all of the heat what you would do you would simply take some of the outer skin here or the flesh of the pepper and use that. Now how you're going to control the heat is by the amount of the outside skin you're going to put. If you want all that heat, you want all that bang, you want, hey, you're brave. What you're going to do then is include all the seeds, the membrane, the flesh, everything in the dish now, but be prepared. I just cut this open and it's already trying to, <laughs> starting to cough. I, I want to cough from it because it's that strong. Be prepared for a lot of heat. These things pack quite a punch. Some of the most deadliest peppers in the world. I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's some oils I can already see by moving around in here. So again, you want the flavor without all the heat, you use the whole pepper. You want a little bit of heat that you can control. We cut them open and use pretty much the flesh of it. You want the whole shebang. You want to feel it <laughs> going in and coming out. <laughs> you use everything. The heat comes from majority of the ear. The majority of heat comes from here, where the seeds are and that white membrane. One more tip before I go, guys. If you guys are like me and you plant your own peppers, I do the organic thing. I during the summer months here, we have a pretty short summer in Canada. So from May to September, I have my peppers growing in the garden. Yes, they do grow here, but not so much the scotch bonnet, but the habanero peppers. And what I would do, I would reap them. And again, because they're organically grown and everything else, this way I'm not dealing with chemicals and everything else when I'm cooking. I pick them, put them in, I give them a good wash, dry them in paper towels. And then what I would do, put them into good. Buy the good ones, don't go to the dollar store. Buy the good, thick, double zipper freezer bags store them in there these things last all winter I have peppers in the freezer right now which are probably a year from two seasons ago uh, they last that long 
I do apologize for the phone ringing in the background there, but hey, that's part of it. You're, at, you're in my house, you're in my kitchen, what do you expect? The phone's gonna ring, right? But here, I wanna give you guys an example of the ones that I have here in the freezer bag. And I've been working through this now, and it, it is a fairly good, thick, zipper lock freezer bag. And all I've done was wash them, rinse them off with cool water, dry them, and put them in this bag here. Remember guys, be careful when you're working with these hot peppers, they are deadly. Chris here, Food FAQs. Remember, you can check out those recipes at um, youtube.com slash Caribbean Pot. Search Caribbean Pot on YouTube, and you guys will see all the recipe videos. But for all the Food FAQ videos, stay tuned right here, and I'll get some more up for you guys in the coming days.